puts on some of the best conferences in the area. They always have. They're doing Sacramento, down in the Bay Area, Southern California. I mean, anywhere we do business, they're doing a conference and they get our customers there and they get great partners out there. It's a total value add for us as a partner. This is day one of two days and I think the traffic has been really good here so far. Kind of half a mind to call up my wife and say, man, there's some cool stuff here. Why don't you come down and, and check it out? The AI, information the booths, a lot of fun, um, cybersecurity, well, the drone portion, of course. I like the uh, Amazon Face Finder. I thought that was interesting technology. Have you seen the Falcons yet? No. <laughs> well, we're here at RevTech Expo, and we're demonstrating our abatement program with Falcons and drones. I, I can't wait to hop in the, this police car <laughs> over here and maybe take some selfies in there or something. <laughs> I'm here with Mike Stroll, the president of Ensys 360. They are the founding sponsors of the RevTech event. Ensys has experience with both the public and the private sector. They operate very differently as organizations, but at the core of either entity, you have the one main ingredient, and that's people. So when it comes to dealing with government, it's more about understanding the process, because underneath it, you have very good people, just like you have in the private sector. So for us, helping these good people through their process, which we have a lot of experience with, go through the changes, take advantage of technologies that actually work that will make a difference in terms of what they're trying to accomplish, and really taking them on that journey and going on that journey with them is really at the core of that philosophy. What's exciting about RevTech is to be exposed to new technologies, uh, and more importantly, new ideas that might be a source of solving some of the business problems we have at the Department of Healthcare Services. PSP has really put the show together and brought in all these different entities and people for us to come and engage. And I'm extremely thankful because this helps us a lot. We have so many interesting opportunities here to not only talk about but to present to. And PSP has done a fantastic job in, in coordinating all of this, bringing us to the capital of California and to talk about emerging technologies. It was a lot of fun. Cool, very, very crisp, very clear. Kind of a heads up because you can see through the glasses and you can see what's around you, yet you can still see the image. The technology is definitely moving forward. And how would a search and rescue, how would a fire department, or how would law enforcement utilize this technology? Drones and artificial intelligence to have discussions with people about using robotics and, and how we might uh, augment the state of California staff with um, machine learning and stuff like that. All of these advanced technologies, I mean, this is the future for sure. I like this. If I were to you know, recommend something uh, for people that are interested in um, this kind of this swath of technologies, I'd highly recommend you know, coming to this. It's more um, solution focused as opposed to vendors providing their product and, and things of like that. So it's, it's a little different venue from that perspective, and that's what's interesting. And I did not realize how technology enabled the CHP cruisers are, and I got a chance to look in the trunk, and there was essentially a server farm in the trunk. So it was really impressive how much technology they're leveraging uh, to keep the public safe. Um, one of the cool things about these kind of events is that it allows the state agencies are often dealing with the same problems, um, and we have an opportunity to learn from each other, because we're all kind of one big family. Somebody out there has a solution for my problem out here, so. I think what's important is to recognize that uh, any agency that's working to try to create a program, that it, it has its challenges, and with those challenges, that you're not alone in those challenges, that as we seek to move forward with programs and program development, that uh, we can help each other out as we do that. Absolutely excited, uh, glad to be here, and glad to see things moving in a good direction for government. Is we're not here to show people what they can do 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. We're here to show them what they can do now. There are a lot of cool things that people are going to see here, from drones to autonomous cars to cloud-based platforms to artificial intelligence. But the reality of it is, is what we're demonstrating isn't prototypes. These are real solutions that we can start our customers, our uh, state, local, and education customers on today, give them experience with, uh, with very little risk, with the confidence that we can deliver on the solutions and make them a success with them. <laughs>